Before we talk about why use hang fire, let us talk about the different types of background jobs or tasks that we have. The first type is the fire and forget. And these tasks happen only once. An example would be when a user signs up and you send to the user a welcoming email and you send that only one time. Another type is the delayed tasks. Delayed tasks are like fire and forget, but you do not execute them as soon as the action is taken. Instead, you define a time when the background job is going to run. For example, it might be when you want to send to a user a discount or a voucher three hours after they have signed up. The last type is the periodic and scheduled jobs. And these are another type where the action or the background task is processed periodically based on a schedule. An example would be when you send to the users marketing emails or when you generate invoices for users by the end of each month. A good background processing service needs to have some key features to be considered as a worthy service. Well, the first one is that it needs to be reliable and persistent. And hang fire is reliable because once a job is created, the hang fire will try over and over again until it's executed. Let's say you create a job, for example, to send an email to the users, and then you lose internet connection. Well, hang fire will try again once the app is back online. And it's also persistent because your hang fire data is stored in a persistent storage. In our case, we are going to use SQL Server. Another feature is that HangFire is transparent and distributed. By using the HangFire dashboard, we can have a look at real-time data as they are being processed. And it's also distributed because you can use HangFire on different machines to get more processing power with no configuration. Other than that, HangFire is really simple to set up and to use, and we'll talk about that on the upcoming parts.